and joining me for the online part that I'm going to start in November. So what, I do, what we're doing today is just mentioning small bits of the whole picture. But those I know you can take home, so I'm happy to give it to you. And there is a lot more, that's what I'm saying. So the first power is the brain. And when I mention the brain, I mean two parts. One is the ancient brain. The one is the, is the back of the head. The reptilian and the limbic. Reptilian and limbic. It doesn't matter the names, just the function. What is the function of this brain? Survival. Survival, okay? What does it mean, survival? I have enough food, I don't get eaten by anybody. I, I, I have enough food, I don't get eaten by anyone. That's a very advanced thinking. Oh, okay. When you're in the jungle, you don't think. This brain does not think, okay? That's important to understand and why? Because the meaning of survival mm -hmm. is to keep us alive as fast as possible yeah. when there is danger, right? Yeah. Okay, so how does that happen? You can react. You just react. I react based on what? That's the interesting part. Fear and adrenaline. The fear is already the reaction. It's just instinct. You just instinct that says what? I agree to all. Right. I don't want to die. Yes, of course. This is um, this is included in survival. Fight or freeze is the reaction. Yes. Dangerous? Not dangerous. What are you asking? Relax. What? What are you asking? I'm asking what is the primary function of survival? To stay alive. Perpetuate life. Go, go ahead, say. So say you want to, uh, um, to, re to react in order to stay alive and not be able to, uh, you know, get taken from any other, like, let's say, animals. Like, you want to hear the jungle, right? Yes, uh, in the jungle because that's where it started. Right, so like trying to do by any means necessary in any, in, in any obstacle. Okay. Trying to uh, uh, <coughs> that part. Okay. Okay. To, uh, you know which brain is speaking now from you, right? No, this one. This one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that one would die now by now. <laughs> there are two functions, okay? One, two ways of categorizing. Dangerous or not dangerous. There's no time for all that. All that is beautiful for an analysis, not in the moment. In the moment, what we know is to say dangerous or not dangerous. You know, this brain has no words, no, no uh, memories, no context, nothing. Why? Because it's luxury. In the moment when there is danger coming, I don't have time to analyze if the fur is nice or not. It's just, okay, I'll be dead by now. <laughs> All I can do, and I do it unconsciously and repeatedly, when this brain perceives something as dangerous or as a threat, equal, then it does the whole thing of fight, fight, freeze, blah, 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 all that. We have that? This is simple, <laughs> essential. This is why this reptilian brain has not changed for thousands of years. Although this uh, cortex has been changing. Now where is the confusion? That's where society comes in and confuses our mind. Because we know how to categorize into dangerous, not dangerous, and this is very fast, we have a substitute, a social substitute for that. It's called right, wrong. So we perceive, after years of domination and indoctrination, indo, what's the word? Indoctrination. Indoctrination, thank you. Indoctrination, what's indoctrination? No. Indoctrination. We learn to perceive human beings as right or wrong, that is, as a threat or not. Only human beings know how to do this. Crazy categorization. And it seems so real that we don't even think that this is an invention.
So, and because the right or wrong, okay, either one, is so fast, it's perceived as survival. Because it is, it reminds the, the, the reptilian brain that it, this can be done quickly. This is why we judge. Because that's a way to give explanation to something. And the explanation creates certainty. Certainty creates safety. Here we can survive. So this is why we attack. This is why we judge. Because if this is dangerous, I have to move it away. This is one way. This is the fight for humans, to judge. You get what I'm saying? The fight, flight, freeze has been uh, translated to fight, fight, attack. What is the flight for humans? What is the flight for? What is it? Withdraw. Withdraw. What else? Run away. Run away. What else? Shut down. Drink a beer. Please. <laughs> Take a beer. Yes. 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 And drugs in general. Thank you. What is the freeze for human beings? People pleasing. People pleasing, I think it's in the flight still. I think freeze is, is worse than that even. I, I thought freeze was also with fawning, which if fawning is people pleasing. What is it? Fawning. Is it the fourth I, F? I thought, so fawning. I don't know the word. Yeah, uh, boy, I'm not a therapist. <laughs> But but I read it. No, it's fawn. Can you spell? Like a fawn, like F A W N. Uh -huh. You're so wonderful. I love you. Ah, yeah, I got it. Okay, the pleasing <laughs> syndrome. Yeah. I think it goes with the flight more than with the freeze. The freeze I see as, for example, depression. I so shut down that I cannot move. Whoever of you and I have been depressed knows that sometimes, or many times, when we are depressed, we cannot even utter words. You know that. So that's freeze for me. Could that also be part of like Wally, where I put up words around me? Yes, and yes, and yes, words. shut down, really shut down, okay? Really shut down. So nobody knows what I'm going through. Yeah. So these are forms of survival in this society that has created so much separation that we are believing that we are different and separate and we keep judging and believing the judgment and reacting out of the judgment. That's our tragedy for me. Now, one of the ways of the reptilian brain to maintain survival is to repeat what it knows. You know how it's for, with the little children, how they adore hearing the same story like a thousand times and we get they want to hear it again? Who, who here is his parent? So you know that. That's the same thing happens with the brain. When it hears something that it knows already, or when we behave in a way that we already know, it feels safe. This is why we go back to where we're bitten, for example. Because we know how it feels. You know, children who are, for example, put in families, what do you call it? Not adoption, but foster. Foster families, they want to go home. Why? They're not crazy. It's their brain and the connection with something they're so familiar with that without it, even if it's better for them, it feels scary. So this is why we go back to old patterns, even though they don't serve us. And since the whole society around us is speaking the same language from the same consciousness of right wrong thinking, we have nowhere to go to relearn the new f uh, thinking, you know, that there's no such thing as right wrong. There is needs behind everything. We keep forgetting we don't have enough people to hold this consciousness of compassion, of seeing the human behind any behavior. No. No one teaches this us, to us. And here comes, so we talked about the brain and the society. And here comes the third component, which is called the family. What is the family in the modern society? 
anyone has a thought? What I'm asking about? Biological, atomic family, father, mother, children. What does it mean? I, I'm with you. What does it mean? What do you What do you think I'm referring to when I say this? Other than what? Why is uh, this important casual, to mention this? Casual acquaintances, so people that you have vows with or promises with. Okay. To support and to cherish. Okay. 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 So I, I'm with you. You can't get out of family. Can't get out of family. Why? Yes, I mean, uh, it's, you're born into it. So? <laughs> <laughs> My kids are with me forever. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I give birth, I'm responsible for them. Mm -hmm. What does it mean about them staying with you? They better not leave me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> they better not leave me. So I yell at them on the phone. Here we go. Here we go. That's the deeper explanation. You understand what I'm saying? Because when they text me and I don't understand, or they speak and I don't understand, what is the fear that comes up? I don't see their face or eyes, so I don't know how I don't see their face or eyes, so I don't know how they're feeling. So? So I'm disconnected with them. So? So, I am not part of their lives anymore. There you go. You get it? So, the next step is they're moving away. Yes. That's what you're reacting mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. You get it? How deep that is. So, in fact, you're yelling, don't leave me. Mm -hmm. Nice? So, don't yell. <laughs> I don't know about don't yell. First of all, get it. Feel it. It's deep. We don't do don't. First of all, wow. Yeah? Yeah. And there's more. It's coming. So the family in the modern world is like the branch of this crazy society of right wrong thinking. <coughs> Namely, the job of the family is to transmit the craziness. <coughs> lift it, lift it. Yeah. To transmit the craziness to the next generation. <laughs> <laughs> See, you were stopping me from saying this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> kids are crazy already. And I we're did. all crazy. <laughs> crazy and wounded. We're all crazy here. <laughs> so what does it mean? It means that there is these like Ben says, okay? One or two people in the best case scenario. Well, nowadays maybe three, maybe. Or one. With a bunch of running figures that we have to take care of. And what else do we have to do in this society as parents? What else? Parents, parents, get up. Yeah. Guide them. Guide them to what? To become them. I mean, to become. Their, I mean, the individual they want to be. You sure? These are your words. <laughs> <laughs> My words. Yeah. They're, they're too pretty. <laughs> to be successful. Guide them to what? Like the society. To be like That's it. Oh. To be good citizen. Yes. No? No. You don't have it anymore. To be successful. I'm serious. I like mine better. You what? You what? I like mine better. I like yours better too. But it's not a very common one. Usually what parents hold is the fear of their kids not belonging. Correct. Okay? I want them to be happy, that's for sure. That's clear. What does it mean to be happy? It's my perception of happy. And you're saying there is another perception of happy, which is theirs. Yes. And this is rare, okay? This is new. This did not exist before. Okay? You know that. So the job of the parents is very, very heavy. It's to prepare the kids to this. 
to again have a generation that thinks right wrong, that lives on fear, that lives on separation, that lives on there's not enough. Who of your parents, please be courageous now, has this thinking inside of you? Just ra raise your hand. Thank you for the, for the hand. Raise, 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 raise. That's heaven. That's heaven. That I'm afraid that my kids won't belong, so I'm teaching them the existing rules through the existing language. Now, next thing for parents is not to feel guilty now, because to feel guilty is the same game. Even if I realize as a parent or as a couple that I'm doing something that, let's say this moment or in other moments, I don't like. If I go to guilt, I'm playing the old game. Because guilt means what? Implies what? That someone did something wrong. So let's recap. Is there anything wrong that people can do? Feel it. Don't answer from the head. What do you say? Tell me your truth. Is there anything wrong that people can do? Yeah. Doing harm to another one. Okay. How doing harm is wrong? What does it have to do with wrong? You cause pain. I cause pain to someone else. I hit them. I kill them, okay? What does it have to do with wrong? It's a big question. It depends on how you evaluate it. Raise your hand and I want to see who's talking. Wrong is in context. Wrong is in context? Yeah. Context? context? Who gives the context? You do. No. Well, if I gave the context? Not you, I meant me, the person. No, society. no, society. no, it's here in the air. I don't have a context of my own. I don't have, I lost it many years ago. You, as my father, who had a father, who had a father, who had a mother, who had a mother, who had a father, who all of them thought in right mode thinking, that's what you gave me as a context. I don't have another context. Why? So I think this is the only one. Why? Why? Because no one speaks the truth. Okay. That's all. Okay. You what? <coughs> you see that for a moment or not? I can see it. Not hear you. I can see it. Okay, what happens when you see? What do you see? I see a lack of choice. That's it. So if there's lack of choice, what's the, what is there instead of choice? <coughs> Automatic pilot. Automatic pilot needs the same fuel every time. Right? Wrong thinking. It's a fantastic fuel. It works very fast. It's very easy to kill people for doing something wrong. You're with me? Can you see that? I'm saying... I see that my mind went to like, this killing actually wrong. I'm not... Can, can you give me my... Can you get the mic, please? <laughs> and then, then you want to talk? I'll go to you for the next. Hello, hello, hello. Closer, yes. Uh, it's just my mind went to like this killing actually wrong. Speak slower for me. I said my mind went to is killing actually wrong. Okay, and what did you see? Context. There you go. So. In which world would you like to live in? The world of choice or world of, world of choice. fear? Choice. How do we get to choice? Slowly. <laughs> Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. Well, slowly describes what could be a process, right? Um, slowly is how you do it, okay? Exactly. But what is it the it that you do? Say it again. What is the it that you do to get to choice? I give you. I give you what not to do. Okay. She said, "Feel." Feel before that. Before that. Okay. You ask Observe. questions. Yes, you ask questions. We are taught to know. We are taught to tell. Most of our conversations end with a dot or with an exclamation mark. Come home now. And if there is a question, it's why did you come home so late? This is not a question. 
<laughs> this is the question I know the answer to. So the invitation, the invitation to really recreate the choice we were born with is to start asking questions. The first thing I did today with Ben